What's up, YouTube? PZ in here. Um, so, it's been a while since I've made a video in this room. Um, this is the dining room, in case you're wondering. And I'm going to be telling you guys sort of a response in response to uh, basically this video is sort of in response to what happened yesterday. Um, if you don't know what happened yesterday, uh, well, then go into your browser and uh, type in apple.com and you will see. Or you could look at the title of the video, but anyways. <clears throat> So, yes, um, anyways, iPhone 5 and new iPods, too. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to go over everything, like, I'm not going to cover iTunes, I don't even, I haven't even, I, 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 well, you know, okay, I'll take a look at iTunes, just for fairness, just, I don't see anything that looks different about it, I thought it was, like, completely re, revamped, um, eh, actually, yeah, it does look a little different, but whatever, I honestly could care less about, like, iTunes, iTunes and such, uh, but I'm mostly going to talk to you guys, my main primary focus is going to be the iPhone 5 and the iPod Touch. Um, that's my main thing because those two, well, m the iPod Touch mostly is like, um, it's my major, what the, yeah, I use my iPod Touch literally every, sing every single day. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> anyways, but I'm going to start with the iPhone just because, you know, iPhone, alright, I'm on the page and it's scrolling over the place. Um, so, first of all, it, it, basically what I'm going to do, I'm not going to go, like, completely in-depth with these things either. Uh, I'm mostly just going to say what I think about it and then maybe read through some of the text back. So it's my second take of this, so it's not going very smoothly. Stupid memory filled up. Um, first thing, actually, this was a, a bit of a turn-off to me, um, is that the screen is actually longer. Uh, it's not wider. It's actually just longer. And the reason why it's a turn-off to me is because I do not like extremely uh, uh, like extremely long displays like this cell phone here this is my cell phone it's actually got a broken screen because I really hate this phone if you see this phone and you want to get it let me just say you would be a fool to buy this phone I seriously hate this phone and uh gross gross phone anyways it's not okay it's not gross it's just stupid my iPod is falling down uh but it's got this sort of um that sort of aspect ratio to it, as you can probably see right there. So, sorry if my nails are open. Oh, I need to cut them. <sighs> Dropping everything everywhere. All right. So, yeah, it does have a longer screen. Um, it's four inches. That's the dimen the uh, diagonal dimension. Uh, four inches. So, like I said, it's not any wide. It's not any wider or any thicker. Man, that shadow is just bugging me. I'm actually just gonna turn the light on. <laughs> I don't even care. This video is just like whatever. All right. Oh, that is much better, I think at least. Um, so yeah, and one thing I actually think is really cool about the uh, new iPhone is that it's made of aluminum. Like it's got a solid aluminum chassis. I mean, I, you know, it does have the glass front. Uh, the iPhone 4 and 4S had the glass front and back, which I still really like. But though, you know, the, I, I've seen tons of cracked iPhone backs, like tons of them. So, you know, this is kind of good. I mean, you, you, you know, obviously since it, the front is still made of, of, of glass, it can, you can still crack that, but, yeah, like, anyways, it looks really nice. It, I cannot wait to see one. I'm not going to get the iPhone 5. I'm not going to. I, I would love an iPhone, guys, but, nah, just not for me. I mean, I can't afford it. I cannot afford the, the data plan and such. just can't. But uh, it looks really good, and if you want to see it for yourself, you should go to Apple's website, like I said. Um, and it comes in two colors, white and black. The black seems to be a black with an you know with a anodized black chassis to it, um, and the white is um, white with a non-anodized aluminum. It's just kind of look probably you know just non-anodized aluminum, just pure aluminum color, <laughs> but with the white front, obviously the white glass. Uh, so, yeah, it looks really cool. I'm just going to jump right into the tech specs here, just because. Um, <clears throat> so it comes in, uh, 16 gigabytes is 199, 32 gigs is 299, and 64 is 399. It's pretty good. So, um, it is 0.3 inches thin. Um, almost said thick, but okay. Um, yeah, it's, and it's, uh, 4.87 inches tall, and, um, <clears throat> Width is 2.31 inches, um, depth is 0.3, like I said, 
and the weight is 3.9 ounces. Um, cellular and Wi-Fi, it does have, what is it called? <laughs> uh, what is it called? Um, something. A really nice, well, LTE, good grief, how did I not know that? LTE, um, wireless. GSM model, blah, whatever, it's got Bluetooth and such. Uh, location, same thing, digital compass, assisted GPS. The display is 4-inch diagonal, 1136 by 640 pixel resolution. Wow. Wow. That is crazy. Actually, I think that's the same pixel density that we have today. But wow, that's, that's ridiculous. I mean, we're getting to the thousands. I know this display is 960 by 640. I mean, e even that's ridiculous. But, you know, now, I don't know. I just think that's crazy. Um, 800 to 1 contrast ratio, typical. Even says typical. Um, whatever. Fingerprint resistant, oleophobic coating. Uh, oh, the camera. The camera. Ooh, the camera. This is the main reason why I wanted the iPhone 4S. But when we get to the iPod Touch, <laughs> yeah, I want the iPod Touch. I mean, like, this is still a better camera than the iPod Touch, but still. Anyway, let me just, 8 megapixels. That's great. I mean, that's, like, huge. That's right up there, I think, at least, with the uh, competition. Um, that's actually the uh, megapixel of my uh, Nikon Coolpix L16 that I had a very long time ago. Um, panorama. It's got a pan pan panorama feature, which is cool. <coughs> 1080p video. That is ridiculous. From your phone, 1080p. Uh, FaceTime HD camera. HD camera. This is the. F this is you know basically this camera that I'm using right now. It's just now it's HD uh, 720p. 1.2 megapixel photos and HD 720p video up to 30 frames per second. Autofocus, tap focus, video, blah blah blah. LED flash, improved video stabilization. External buttons and controls. Um, same thing. All those speakers look a little different. And it's got the new lightning connector, which is a really cool device. Um, it's just trying to fly through this here. Battery life, it seems to be... It actually, battery life looks really, really good. Um, let's see. The new headphones. Yeah, I don't know if it comes with a carrying case. I think it does. It looks like it does. Uh, but the new ear pods. That's what they're called. I think it's kind of strange, but ear pods. Um, that, yeah, ear pods. If you can, want to check them out, check it out. Just I want to get to that by touch. Uh, I've spent actually way too long on this. In the box, what does it come with? Uh, it comes with iPhone 5 and the Apple EarPods with remote and mic, lightning to USB cable, USB power adapter, and documentation. That's pretty cool. Alright, so, let's just fly through all the other things. If you have any other wonders about it, you can check it out. I want to get to the iPod Touch, and if we have time, which we probably won't, because I know I'll get into the iPod Touch, we might even do the iPod Nano. Uh, the iPod Shuffle just has new colors, that's pretty much the only thing. Alright, iPod Touch. First of all, the iPod Touch is now available in many colors, like the other iPods. You can buy it, I, I don't, I think you buy it in pretty much any color of the rainbow. Um, you know, kind of like the iPod Nanos and such, you can buy pretty much any color you want to. Um, even including product red, which honestly will probably be the one I end up getting. I think I want to get the white one with product red, I think that would look really cool. Um, only thing I don't like is that these other colors that I'm seeing just look really girly. I mean, they just, ugh. whatever. Brilliant new design, yeah, obviously. One thing I noticed is that the Wi-Fi Wi -Fi antenna window has returned. I don't know why, but it's returned. But I just want to get into the features that I'm most excited about. All right, it's got the same new display that the iPhone 4 has. IPS this time, which is exciting. I'm kind of excited about that. I, I just like, I, I like display technology, and IPS is really cool. Um, so let's just jump right into tech specs, okay? Um, 0.24 inches thin. That's ridiculous. I don't know how thin this one is. I uh, should I? I don't feel like checking. Uh, I do know it, it is actually thinner than this one though, which is insane. I was like, how are they physically going to make it thinner? Well, there you go. They <laughs> made it thinner. Uh, now I'm asking, how are they going to make it thinner than this one? And then they're going to do it again, you know? <laughs> well, and eventually it's going to be like a piece of paper or something. Uh, probably won't be that much though. Height is 4.86 inches. I don't know if that's the same as the iPhone or not. Width, oh, hold on. Who cares about dimensions, right? All right, well, if you're wondering. Width is 2.31. Depth is 0.24. And weight is 3.10. Wireless, uh, 802.11 A, B, G, N, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.0, Maps location-based service, and Nike Plus support built in. The display, 4-inch diagonal, wide, it's like 
diagonally measured. Uh, widescreen display with multi-touch IPS technology, retina display, again, 1130, 11, whatever, 1136 by <coughs> 640 pixel resolution, which is getting crazy, 326 pixels per inch PPI, uh, 800 to 1 contrast ratio, typical, same exact display, and, it's, and now it's got the finger, fingerprint resistant oleophobic coating, which is cool, because these iPods are lacking, uh, lacking that. 5 megapixel camera, yes! Yes! And what else is yes? It's the autofocus! Yes! Oh, that's gonna be awesome! Alright, uh, tap to focus or still, you know, uh, backside illumination, hybrid IR filter, 5 element lens, yes! LED flash, yes! Thank you, Apple! LED flash, yes! <laughs> um, 2.4 aperture, aperture or f-2.4 or whatever. Uh, face detection, panorama, HDR, ooh, HDR, didn't see that, um, HD video recording, 1080p, yes, 1080p, although I doubt I'll take advantage of that, because that's going to take forever, up to 30 frames per second with audio, FaceTime HD camera with 1.2 megapixels, video stabilization, uh, tap to control exposure for video or stills, and photo and video geotagging over Wi-Fi, input and output, lightning connector, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, built-in speaker, and microphone. So, it looks like it still has one microphone. Now, one thing that is interesting, I, I don't know what I think about this. It's got this thing called the loop, and thank goodness it's not called the eye loop, because <laughs> that would just be a little bit, you know, get a little ridiculous there, but it's called the loop. And basically what it is, is a lanyard, which I think is a really cool feature if you're going to use it for as a, mainly as a camera. I have said in the past I love lanyards, but I do not foresee myself really using a lanyard with this thing. I mean... Maybe? I, I mean, we'll see. I'll probably end up switching it out or, or using it and then not using it. But it's got this button that you push on the back and I guess it like pops out and then you hook it around it or something. I have no idea, but it looks intriguing. Um, FaceTime camera, I'm looking at the uh, layout. FaceTime camera on off, sleep wake is on the top. So, you know, same basic layout. It's got the iSight camera on the back, next to that's a microphone, next to that's the LED flash. Uh, and then the iPod touch loop. And the built-in speaker it looks like it's got a different speaker. Again, it might hopefully it's a little bit louder. Lightning connector and three and a half inch millimeter jack. Same layout as with uh, as, as on this iPod. Just got that nice looking speaker, um, and it's made of aluminum. It doesn't have the shiny back. Yes. However, I do have a feeling like the first generation iPhone. This might be a little slippery, <laughs> so maybe I sh maybe you should consider getting a case for it so you don't drop it. Uh, power and battery built in. Ooh, you know what I just thought? With that loop, what is that? case makers are gonna have to be kind of. Oh, that's gonna be hard. Ooh, that's gonna make a that's gonna pose a challenge for case makers. Hmm. Audio playback or hang on. Power and battery looks like it's got a little bit lesser battery life than the iPhone, but whatever, it still looks pretty good. TV and video, headphones, Apple ear pods, um, sensors to access gyro and accelerometer, no new sensors. Um, and what does it come with? Let's just skip to that iPod Touch, iPod Touch Loop, Apple EarPods, Lightning USB connector, and Quick Start Guide. I should mention the Loop is not an iPhone 5 feature. It does not go with the lanyard. It's only the iPod Touch, which is interesting. Um, and yeah, now really quickly, because I realize I only have like one minute left here, let's just jump into the iPod Nano. The iPod Nano has a complete redesign. Uh, it looks kind of like a little iPod Touch, except without, it just looks a little different. I kind of actually foresaw this design at one point. It's kind of weird. Um, new body, same sole. It, it basically, let me just show you what it looks like. This should be enough. I mean, seriously, that's what it looks like. Okay, that's what it looks like. And it's just got a slightly different UI. In terms of tech specs, really quickly, it does have Bluetooth support, which is good. Um, all right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, I got one minute left. Oh no. Uh, let's see, display, 2.5 inch diagonal wipes. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> I don't think it's got this. It's got, okay. I don't know, whatever. Um, accelerometer in it, battery, same headphones, and in the box, iPod Nano, Apple EarPods, Lightning, USB connector, and Quarter Star. I know I didn't get too much into it, but there you go. There I covered everything I wanted to. So, at that, enjoy when it comes out. I, uh, one thing I want to say, I'm torn as to when I'm going to get the new iPod Touch. I will get it. Don't b believe me. I will get it. Uh, definitely. It's just a matter of when. It's not going to be as urgent as before. Like, I'm not going to get it as soon, but whatever. I'll make a, another video about that later, I guess. We'll see. Anyways, I'm, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching. Adios.